Here's a little moringa growing outdoors in the garden. I planted several in this old vegetable garden. It's growing in the middle, in the, in the cavity in the middle of one of those concrete bricks. Are they called Bessel blocks or something? There it is. I planted it a week or so ago anyway. I planted quite a few of them. I don't know that they'll get through the winter though because there's only a couple of months to go before winter and well we do have frosts here there's another one next door coming up next door it hasn't developed its uh, leaves so well yet there they are growing in the centers of uh, concrete bricks just for fun here are a couple more doing, well they're doing reasonably well. That one's doing alright isn't it? And then there's the one next door. A nice long stem on this one and its leaves are reaching up to the sun. There they are. Well let's see how it goes with the winter frost and whether they can you know whether they can last through winter to spring. We'll see. Well I've just picked and washed a couple of uh, moringa leaves. I'm going to give them the taste test. So hang on. I'm chomping them. Mm, they are slightly hot. Slightly hot like radish or raw cabbage like in coleslaw just slightly, or like watercress leaves or cress leaves mm. not too bad as a salad vegetable, I wouldn't mind them there's some moringas I planted in the ground today so, uh, a week or so ago and they've just been coming out the past couple of days yes I could I could eat um, moringa leaves as a salad, uh, salad leaf, they're not too bad slightly hottish anyway this is a double moringa coming up, two from the one seed. That's interesting. Is that in focus? Probably not. Two from the one seed coming up here. And this one next door is doing better. It's a little bit more advanced. These are planted in the ground in, in the, the old vegetable garden. They're doing all right. I just want to see how they go in the ground. It'll be interesting to see how they cope with a heavy frost here. Plenty of free salad green there, then isn't there if you plant lots of moringa everywhere. Here are a couple more moringas planted directly in the ground. There's this one, looks a bit yellowish, but it's getting to a good height now. It's only a week or so old too. Hasn't been planted very long. And here's some more moringa greens. I could definitely eat them on a sandwich. Close up here of this moringa growing in the ground, directly in the ground, it's doing all right. The snails and slugs haven't found it yet, if they ever will. They probably will eventually. And this one here is going to a good height, but looks a bit yellowish, doesn't it? Looks a bit yellowish. Anyway, these moringas are growing directly in the ground. I sort of put them in the center of these bricks just to keep an eye on them so I'd know where they were. I did put a few elsewhere in the vegetable garden here, but I'm not sure where they were. I'm still waiting for them to come up. We'll just have to wait. I'll come back in a day or so. I'll come back in a day or so and see how they're going, how bigger they are, how much bigger they've grown. Just observing here that some moringas have red stems for whatever reason, whether it's genetic or what. Most of them seem to have green stems, like this one over here. Green. This is a tomato, <laughs> just here by the way, but most moringas have green stems like that one. But there are some with red stems for whatever reason. It's just something worth observing. There's an example of the usual green stemmed ones. And here's a pair of moringas in a pot here. A pair in a pot, and we've got another red-stemmed one to the left here. 
Let's have a close up of it. There's the less common, more reddish stem. It's turning more red, that one. It is a red one. It's going red. And the others are usually green. Maybe they'll all turn red, but I don't think they do. Look how well this moringa in the garden is growing now. It's lovely. Look how pretty it is in the autumn. Isn't it lovely and green and lush and beautiful and fresh? Look at all the pretty free moringa leaves. Happy in the sunshine. They're easy to grow the watercress, aren't they? A huge amount of leaves just in pots. I can use them any time I like. In noodles and things. And I've got a whole lot of them. I think I'm going to grow some more, actually. They're so easy and fun to grow. I can have them as a beautiful indoor house plant. So lush and green and lovely and fresh. Yes. Definitely.